Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Eric here, Premium Guns. Let's talk about Kamala Harris's assault weapons ban. Stay tuned. I'm a gun owner, and Tim Wallace is a gun owner, and we're not trying to take anybody's guns away from them. But we do need an assault weapons ban. Assault weapons are designed to kill a lot of human beings quickly. Yes, and have assault no weapons place. Ban. And yes. have no place. So guys, as you can see, I don't think Kamala Harris calls this an assault weapon. This is your good old trusty, pretty much every American boy, girl owns a Ruger 1022. Probably the most sold gun in the United States. But surprisingly, there's another rifle that beats the Ruger 1022. And it is the AR-15. More of these are sold in the United States since the ban was removed in 2005 than any other gun in the country. This is basically the new America's gun. Now, there are features on here that common sense Democrats will tell you are scary. Like to get him out of jail. She did things that nobody would ever think of. Now she wants to do transgender operations on illegal aliens that are in prison. This is a radical left liberal that would do this. She wants to confiscate your guns and she will never allow fracking in Pennsylvania. If she won the election, fracking in Pennsylvania will end on day one. Just the muzzle break, the Picatinny rail, the hand grip, which turns into a light and a laser. And of course, don't forget the optics. You got a green dot, which we'll see if we can show you. And then of course you got the magnifier. Scary, scary gun. Which is kind of funny, is it also shoots a 22 caliber bullet out of it, as well as that Ruger 1022 does. But this one holds 30 rounds, or you can buy a magazine that'll hold 50, or a magazine that'll hold 100. And you can buy a magazine that'll hold 10 if you're California compliant. But this is a gun that Kamala Harris wants to outlaw, take away from you. And she said it many, many times. But folks, I'd want you to remember, her and Tim Waltz are gun owners too. They're not coming after any of your guns. Quit that line, Donald Trump. It's about taking everyone's guns away. Tim Walls and I are both gun owners. We're not taking anybody's guns away. So stop with the continuous lying about this stuff. Yet she proposes and really, really wants, just like Biden did, an assault weapons ban. Over the years, I've held the hands of far too many mothers and fathers to try and comfort them after their child was killed by gun violence. And let us all agree, it does not have to be this way. We know. We have in our possession, we know how to stop these tragedies. And it is a false choice to suggest you are either in favor of the Second Amendment or you want to take everyone's guns away. I am in favor of the Second Amendment, and I believe we need to reinstate the assault weapons ban. This is what they consider an assault weapon ban. Adjustable stock, pistol grip, detachable magazine, handguard with light and laser, muzzle brake, are all the things that make this an assault weapon. Guys, this is just another tool in the bag of every freedom-loving American citizen. This is nothing to be scared, more scared of than this <laughs> Ruger 1022. I mean, it's got a scope on it. Doesn't have a muzzle brake. Doesn't have a pistol grip. But this gun can be almost as deadly and as dangerous as this assault weapon. In the wrong hands, and, and I say the wrong hands. I'm talking about criminals 
Back of a trunk, 600 bucks. Easy. It's easy as having the money. But I got the money legally hanging out in the street corner, so I was able to get it. If you want to get a gun in America, you're going to get the gun in America. No, it was not registered or any background check. I just bought it for somebody on the streets. And in the... Talking about the mentally disturbed. Those folks don't care about laws. They don't care if this was banned. They would find a way to get this weapon. Only thing banning weapons does and more gun control does for us guys is it makes it harder for us to defend ourselves against people that want to do us harm whether that be criminals or a tyrannical government <laughs> i'm not saying that i'm for going after the government but if the government knows that its citizens are armed they're more likely to behave and do the right thing. If they know their citizens are unarmed, Russia, China, then they don't have to worry about doing the right thing, do they? So, no, I don't think every American citizen should be armed because they're going to go out to their government. I think every American citizen should be armed by an assault weapon to basically do the same thing Ronald Reagan did. Nuclear deterrent. He outspent Russia, bluffed them with Star Wars, made them think that we were a higher superpower than them, and it basically chilled that Cold War. Smart, smart man. So our founding fathers basically had the same concept. If your citizens are armed, you're more likely to listen and obey your citizens and their wishes than you are to force your ideology on them. If you don't believe me that this election is important, it is. And I have to appreciate our pastor. I'm gonna play a little clip from our church so you guys can watch. This is what your Christian churches should be doing. ...opportunity we're going to have at every CFC location over the next two Sundays. My friends, Jesus has called us to be salt and light. To be effective as salt and light, we must be present in all of the arenas that we want to be effective in. And this November, something big is happening. We have an election that is going to impact our country in a major way. Statistically, most Christians do not take their faith to the polling booth and vote. And I want to encourage you to be different. I want to encourage you to take your faith to the polling booth and to the best of your ability, vote the Bible and vote your convictions. All the He doesn't tell you who to vote for. He tells you to vote for your Christian values. That's what's important right there, guys. Pray for your leaders and vote for your Christian values. A lot of Christians don't vote and they just think it's not worth it or it's not wasting the time. You don't vote your values. You get, well, you get ideology like Kamala Harris, where woke is the thing. Be more woke. And, you know, we have to stay woke. Like, everybody needs to be woke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just stay more woke than less woke. You know, you don't have to be Democrat or Republican to be a Christian. You can be either or but you still need to vote your values. So guys, get out to vote. I'll bring you a video from when we vote, my wife and I. It is important. There's a lot of local things that you need to fight for at your level. You guys have a blessed week. We love you. Peace out.